Welcome to part three of my first canoe build. So as a continuation of part two, where we had some outstanding items to finish, it was the bow and stem forms, which are right behind me. Uh, they have been installed. Everything has been checked uh, and rechecked for straightness. So uh, happy and pleased uh, with, with the results of that. Um, also, it, from part two, I had mentioned that I needed a uh, router table, so uh, made some progress on that. I will be finishing that in the strips. So if you have a, uh, a strip that is a square or rectangular type shape against another square rectangular shape, there will be a gap in, in between those strips. So what the Bead and Cove does is it allows a seating surface for the next strip to actually conceal that gap. Uh, so that was the purpose of the router table uh, in, the, in the Bead and Cove bits that I purchased in order to eliminate work down the road. So if you have major gaps, then you have to fill those gaps. Um, if, if you take the extra time and you actually process the wood uh, with this Bead and Cove application, then it'll make it tighter. There's still going to be some filling required, but it won't be as much. So it's worth the effort. So with a lot of work ahead of us, we need to finish the router table, we need to process the strips uh, to set us up for success for planking, planking the canoe, uh, starting from the gunnels and working up to actually fill the bottom of the canoe. It'll be in a chevron pattern, I believe. They, they call it the football. Uh, and then uh, after the stripping is complete, then we'll actually get into the epoxy fiberglass type of component of the build. So if you like these types of videos, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. So as I stated, I needed to build a router table and uh, this is what I've come up with. What I will do is mount it down at the end of the bench where you can see my vacuum hose there, which will attach to the back of the vacuum port that I've built into this box. So I did buy these T-Tracks and uh, I'll uh, put feather boards on here so I can guide each piece through. Uh, I think this is going to work. Okay, so I've completed my router table. Uh, with the T-Tracks that I ordered and the adjustable knobs and the built feather boards that I just completed, uh, I think I'm ready to go. Uh, all I did, I have this mounted to my tabletop here, my dust collection system here, although I have a different dust collection system, I will just be using my, my uh, dry backer. But yeah, I think it came out okay. It's gonna get the job done. Um, so here we have the beading bit. And then on the other side is the actual cove bit. So that cove bit, uh, as you can see, they fit inside one another. And that is gonna be the application of the strips. Time to get started preparing these strips.
all done. So finished processing the strips twice. Had to do that because the first time with the first router bit was the bead bit. The bead bit provides an edge that you can run through the router again as the, the cove bit creates a, a fragile edge that would uh, maybe cause for misalignment. So the stack you see right up above there was processed twice. Took a couple hours, maybe a little bit longer, and the router table worked as expected. Uh, really, really happy with, with the turnout there. So now with all the wood processed, the next uh, phase of the canoe build is going to be stripping the canoe. But firstly, I have to establish the shear line, which I'll get into that in the next part. Really happy with today's progress. So if, again, if you like watching these videos, please subscribe and uh, hit that like button. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.